agrivoltaics. Growing veggies under solar panels is quirky. Veggies and bees love the shade. It would be no surprise to anyone that farmland is an obvious place to put a solar panel facility. And this, of course, represents a new source of farm income. This photo shows a relatively large, prosperous farm that has several acres of solar panels, providing energy for the farm and feeding surplus energy into the grid. The excitement associated with combining solar with farming is the changing economics of farming. We can now anticipate smaller, viable farms and farm equipment powered by batteries rather than gasoline. But the real story is what is called agrivoltaics, or the combination of traditional vegetable farming with solar panels. In the photo you can see the solar panels providing shade for vegetables. What is so exciting is the research that shows a wider variety of vegetables that flourish under the shade of the solar panels. And as well, the solar panels become more productive because the plants give off moisture that helps keep them cool. Research suggests that most of these solar investments provide a 10 year payback. But with the cost of solar coming down each year because of the advances in solar technology, we are going to witness an explosion in agrivoltaic farming. The word agrivoltaic, unique in its own right. Just saying it makes you feel so intelligent. You might have folks that grew tomatoes and peppers in their own garden. Not a big deal. But growing them in semi-arid places like Nevada and Arizona just would not work without agrivoltaic. What is even more interesting is that farmers combining solar with growing vegetables report great success in raising bees which are so crucial for pollinating vegetables. Those beads light the shade too. An even more exciting development, combining solar with greenhouses. This is a big deal because controlling the heat and humidity 24 hours a day in a greenhouse is tricky and expensive. If you had relatives living in Phoenix, it is so hot during the day and so cool at night. So solar with greenhouses provides a source of heat at night, with batteries of course, and equally provide cooling shade during the day. So when you combine the technologies of desalinization and agrivoltaics, you have a future even living in a hot semi-arid part of the world. Life is about water and food, and these arid and semi-arid areas make up 20% of the world. It provides some solutions to a warming climate. Our future is not all doom and gloom.